All right, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to breed minnows. So right here, um, I have some minnows I just got from the lake, and um, I'll talk about that a little bit later. But first of all, the first thing you're going to need, I'm going to try to make this quick, the first thing you're going to need is um, a small fish tank or um, really anything to just hold water. Um, I've seen people do it in totes and um, bins, larger bins, but um, yeah, the first thing you're going to need is a tank and um, this is a 10 gallon and I like to have about five gallons in it so if you have a five gallon tank fill it all the way up but it's 10 gallons so I fill it about halfway maybe a little bit more or less but who cares and then um, the most important thing that you're gonna need is definitely aeration because if there's no aeration then there's no oxygen in the water so they won't they will suffocate and die and so that's most important and the more oxygen the more chance that you're gonna have them breed the second most important thing is um, an area for them to breed. These are red solo cups. It doesn't matter what kind of cup or whatever structure. I've seen people make uh, out of a lot of different stuff. But um, in my experience, red solo cups have worked, have worked the best. So I usually have three red solo cups. Um, and since I don't have a lot of minnows this time, um, just to give you guys more reference, this is at the time of... The recording date is December 2nd, so it's very cold outside, and there's I actually ice on the water, and I had to break through the ice to get some minnows because I remembered that I don't have any minnows, and I used them all, so I had to go get minnows. Here they are. I didn't get very many because I was cold, and I had to break through the ice to get them, so I had rubber boots on when it, the water was less than 35 degrees, so my feet aren't very happy with me right now, but yeah, we got some minnows. A lot of them are, oh, the water's still pretty cold, but a lot of them are small, but it's okay. I'm going to feed. There's one minnow. Um, I made sure to put in cold water so that they wouldn't get absolute shock when I first put them in here. But um, as you can see, there's a lot of small ones. There's probably 50. Um, a little more than a dozen minnows in here, but um, the, you can see the two big ones. Those are both female, so you're definitely going to want these. So grab a female. Oh, I got one. Where'd he go? Oh, there it is. So there's your female, and um, it's they're obviously going to take a, at least a day or two to acclimate, but what I usually do, see he's already discovering the cave, the little, um, this water's a lot more suitable, because they're not going to breed when it's cold out. So you want warmer water. If you have room temperature water, it usually works in my experience, but um, if you have a small heater, that will be more beneficial. But yeah, you usually want... Um, at least a couple females. I only have two. It should work. You only need one, but the more minnows, the more females you have, the more chance that they'll breed. Um, but the small ones are male. So I usually have two or three more males than females. So I have two females, and um, right now I only have one male. So I need a couple more. And you don't want too many males because they'll eat the babies. And right when you see that the eggs have hatched and there's a bunch of tiny babies, then you want to um, remove the other fish as soon as possible so that they don't eat the eggs. But yeah, there's not really anything you have to do yourself. Let me put one more or two more in here. So now we have, it's either three or four little males. So we have three males and two females, so that's good. So what's going to happen is, in a week or two, it depends. Sometimes it takes a little longer, depending on the situation. But in my experience, it usually takes a week or two. And um, those rocks in there, those are just little rock garden rocks I have. Those serve two purposes. One is to let the red solo cups sink to the bottom. And two, it's for them to lay their eggs in so they have something for it to stick to instead of it just um, sticking to a white bottom. So you can see they're already going inside of them. That's a little male. And, um, yeah, I'm not really going to be able to tell you guys when they mate or if 
or if they have babies, but yeah. So what you need, I, I kind of got this, uh, distracted a little bit. So what you need really is this oxygenator. I need to plug it in real quick. It would be an oxygenator, but if you had time and money or just had them laying around, then you would definitely need a filter, an oxygenator, and um, a heater. But lights are optional. I have lights just because this used to be my old fish tank, but I didn't. But now I have a 55 gallon, and I don't use. I don't use this tiny fish tank anymore. So um, that's basically how to breed minnows. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you learned something. And um, yeah. I think I said I think I said everything I want to say. Um, if you found this video helpful, please leave a like and comment below if it um, worked for you. And um, yeah, that's pretty much the video. If you guys want to see me, um, the rest of these are just for my f the the rest of these tiny males. I don't need them. I'll put one more. I'll probably put one more male in there just in case, because these were through the ice and they're very cold. So. You may have a male die on you, especially since this water is so cold. So just in case, I'll put that last male in there. But the rest of these are going in my fish tank and uh, my bigger fish tank. That's only a 10-gallon. I'm going in the 55-gallon with these. But um, if you want to stay tuned, I'm going to feed these to my fish named Bob. He's a bluegill. So that's the main reason why I'm breeding the minnows because if i would just use them for ice fishing i'd probably just buy them and not have to go through this hassle but when you have to buy minnows every week for your fish it gets annoying so i thought i might as well just make this video and try to breed some minnows for my boy bob the bluegill so i'm gonna go feed these to bob and um yeah thank you guys for watching all right this is my 55 gallon tank um that's bob he's a bluegill let me focus on him Come here, Bob. Um, yeah, I ran out of worms, and I figured I had to. He hasn't ate yet. He didn't eat anything yesterday because I ran out of worms, but he'll be fine. He's got plenty of minnows today. Um, I'll probably just dump them in there since it needs a little bit of water anyway. Probably just dump in the water. Should be fine since Bob came from a lake. This little lake water is not going to affect him much. Oh, I'm trying to see how I can get an angle on this. There we go. Oh, he clapped one. I don't know if you guys saw that, but let me try to grab one by hand because it's, it's kind of hard to know when they're going to come out. There's one. Okay, we got minnow. Oh, there's the minnow. He's going crazy. Oh, oh, Bob's coming. Oh, he's coming. Oh, demolished. Oh, he's hungry for more. Oh, did he get him? Did he miss? I don't know if I said this before, but clearly this isn't much food for Bob, but this is the whole reason I'm breeding minnows. Hopefully we can get more females than males. Because when I caught these minnows, I didn't get many females. I only got two. Did he get them? Did he miss? Okay, there's only three little tiny ones in there, so I'm just going to dump them in. Oh, there's one. He's definitely in shock because of the how warm the water is. Did he just get one?
it's hard to focus on him when my hands are all so yeah um thank you guys for watching kind of a short video but also informational um but yeah plenty of ice fishing videos to come plenty of um more fish tank videos to come so if you're into any of this um please consider subscribing and then hitting the bell notification it'll allow you to get notified every time i make a video but yeah um don't got any more minnows and um the ice is freezing so ice fishing season is coming and um bob's gonna be eating good so thank you guys for watching like i said for the 15th time and um i'll see y'all next week